Corpus Hermeticum Book 7 The Seventh Book His Secret Sermon in the Mount of Regeneration, and the Profession of Silence To His Son Tad 1 Tad In the General Speeches Father, Discoursing of the Divinity, you speak enigmatically, and did not clearly reveal yourself, saying, that no man can be saved before regeneration. 2. And when I did humbly entreat you, at the going up the mountain after you had discoursed unto me, having a great desire, to learn this argument of regeneration, because among all the rest, I am ignorant only of this you told me you would impart it unto me, when I would estrange myself from the world, whereupon I made myself ready, and have vindicated the understanding that is in me, from the deceit of the world. 3. Now then fulfill my defects, and as you said, instruct me of regeneration, either by word of mouth or secretly, for I know not trismegistus, of what substance, or what womb or what seed a man is thus born. 4. Hermes. Son, this wisdom is to be understood in silence, and the seed is the true good. 5. Tat. Who sows it father, for I am utterly ignorant and doubtful. 6. Hermes. The will of God Son. 7. And what manner of man is he that is thus born? For in this point, I am clean deprived of the essence that understands in me. 8. Hermes. The Son of God will be another, God made the universe, that in everything consist of all powers. 9. Tat. You tell me a riddle, father, and does not speak as a father to his son. 10. Hermes. Son, things of this kind are not taught, but are by God, when he pleases, brought to remembrance. 11. Tad. You speak of things strained, or far-fetched, and impossible, father, and therefore I will directly contradict them. 12. Hermes Will you prove a stranger son, to your father's kind? 13. Do not envy me, father, or pardon me, I am your natural son, discourse unto me the manner of regeneration. 14. Hermes What shall I say? O oh my son, I have nothing to say more than this, that I see in myself an unfeigned sight or spectacle, made by the mercy of God, and I am gone out of myself into an immortal body, and am right now what I was before, but was begotten in mind. 15. This thing is not taught, nor is it to be seen in this formed element, for which the first compound form was neglected by me, and that I am now separated from it, for I have both the touch and the measure of it, yet am I now estranged from them. 16 You see sun, with your eyes, but though you look never so steadfastly upon me, with the body, and bodily sight, you cannot see, nor understand what I am now. 17. Tad. You have driven me, Father, into no small fury and distraction of mind, for I do not now see myself. 18. Hermes. I would, son, that you also were gone out of yourself, like them that dream in their sleep. 19. Tad. Then tell me this, who is the author and maker of regeneration? 
20 Hermes The child of God, one man by the will of God. 21 Tat Now Father, you have put me to silence forever and all my former thoughts have quite left and forsaken me, for I see the greatness, and shape of all things here below, and nothing but falsehood in them all. 22 And since this mortal form is daily changed, and turned by this time into increase, and diminution, as being falsehood, what therefore is true Trismegistus? 23 Trismegistus That, O Son, which is not troubled, nor bounded, not colored, not figured, not changed, that which is naked, bright, comprehensible only of itself, unalterable, unbodily. 24 Tat now I am mad, indeed Father, for when I thought me to have been made a wise man by you, with these thoughts you have quite dulled all my senses. 25 Hermes Yet is it so, as I say Son, he that looks only upon that which is carried upward as fire, that which is carried downward as earth, that which is moist as water, and that which blows or is subject to blast as air, how can he sensibly understand that which is neither hard, nor moist, nor tangible, nor perspicuous, seeing it is only understood in power and operation, but I beg and pray to the mind which alone can understand the generation, which is in God. 26. Tat. Then am I father, utterly unable to do it. 27 Hermes God forbid son, rather draw or pull him unto you and he will come, be but willing, and it shall be done, quiet the senses of the body, purging yourself from unreasonable brutish torments of matter. 28 Tat have I any revengers or tormentors in myself, Father? 29 Hermes Yes and those, are not a few, but many, and fearful ones. 30 Tad I do not know them, Father. 31 Hermes One torment son is ignorance, a second, sorrow, a third, intemperance, a fourth, concupiscence, a fifth, injustice, a sixth, covetousness, a seventh, deceit, an eighth, envy, a ninth, fraud or guile, a tenth, wrath, an eleventh, rashness, a twelfth, maliciousness. 32. They are in number twelve, and under these many more, some which through the prison of the body, do force the inwardly placed man to suffer sensibly thirty-three. And they do not suddenly, or easily depart from him, that has obtained mercy of God, and herein consists, both the manner and the reason of regeneration. 34 For the rest, son, hold your peace, and praise God in silence, and by that means, the mercy of God will not cease, or be wanting unto us. 35 Therefore rejoice, my son, from here forward, being purged by the powers of God, to the knowledge of the truth. 36 For the revelation of God is come to us, and when that came all ignorance was cast out. 37 The knowledge of joy has come to us, and when that comes, sorrow shall fly away to them that are capable of it. 
38 I call to joy, the power of temperance, a power whose virtue is most sweet, let us take her to ourselves son, most willingly, for how at her coming has she put away in temperance. 39 Now I call the fourth, continence, the power which is over lust. This son, is the stable and firm foundation of justice. 44 See how without labor, she has chased away injustice and we are justified son, when injustice is away. 41 The sixth virtue which comes to us, I call communion, which is against covetousness. 42 And when that is gone, I call truth, and when she comes, error and deceit vanishes. 43 See son, how the good is fulfilled by the access of truth, for by this means, envy is gone from us, for truth is accompanied with the good, together also with life and light. 44 And there came no more any torment of darkness, but being overcome, they are all fled away suddenly, and tumultuarily. 45 You have understood son, the manner of regeneration, for upon the coming of these ten, the intellectual generation is perfected, and then it drives away the twelve, and we have seen it in the generation itself.